Hello again, I'm Metadept and this is part 4 of my Star Foundry tutorial where I'll be explaining how to manipulate tiles using the layer swapper object. So the purpose of a layer swapper is to switch the tiles that are in the foreground and the background in a designated area. So the background tiles will move to the foreground and the foreground tiles will move to the background. There's two different ways to declare the areas for these. You can use freeform markers or rectangular markers. So let's start with rectangular markers. These are easy. You just define two corners of an area and then wire one of the markers to the layer swapper you want to set the area for. Then activate that marker. If it's successful, the markers will pop off the wall and that means that the layer has already been uh, selected in that area. So now when I activate the layer swapper, this rectangle of tiles will be moved between the foreground and the background. So right now you can see there's only one layer of tiles to switch, but uh, if I place things in the foreground then they will also be swapped along with it. The other way of defining areas is the freeform marker, which lets you define entirely custom areas. So you just draw space by space the area that you want to swap. Then again, wire any of the markers to the layer swapper and activate that marker. And again, now these tiles will be switched between the background and the foreground. There are a couple of different ways you can use this. Well, several different ways, but uh, here's a couple. Uh, one of them is providing switches for energy. Because energy requires line of sight to send to an object, if you have a solid block in the way and then move that out of the way using a layer swapper, then it will allow energy to be sent through that area. So you can switch and route energy with this. Now because pipes are tiles, you can also do the same thing with liquid pipes. So I've set this layer swapper to swap only this small tile where the pipe corner is. And in the background, I have a straight pipe that will connect it to this thing. So when I swap the layers, it changes the destination of the liquid. You can also use these for all kinds of other things, like creating doors or hiding images in the background behind large areas of solid blocks. Be creative!